try to um, get things all situated uh, until you really get out there on the grass. Uh, that's where you really start to make progress. But, um, you know, I, th I thought our quarterbacks played better today. You know, there was not as many air and throws. Uh, running backs are certainly looking strong. Um, uh, defensively, uh, I thought our pursuit angles and effort to the football was much better today. And so uh, tomorrow will be the first day in pads. Uh, it's not going to be a hit fest, but you know the tempo will change. So uh, questions? Isn't it good to see them you know, make that improvements after the first one? Mm -hmm. the per no one's probably really sure what to expect, and maybe they could come out flat or something. Was, was right. that encouraging to see some of those, some of those improvements? That well, I was, you know, their attitude has really been super. Uh, I think a lot of it just had to come into play, them really understanding, okay, how's practice going to work? And, how, and even, you know, we added some new coaches to our staff as well. And so uh, I was encouraged about the tempo today. Certainly our execution can improve, you know. Uh, from the naked eye, we made improvement. I'll watch the tape and uh, probably uh, pick out a couple things that uh, we got to, not a couple, we'll have several things we have to improve on. but. Uh, I've been really pleased with the attitude of our football team. These guys want to be good, and as coaches now, we need to show them how to be good. Coach, using those you know double reps and splitting mm -hmm. guys up, how important is that when you know you need to familiar, familiarize yourself with an entire team? How mm -hmm. important is that to be able to have, get everybody you know work? Well, it's a critical thing. You know, the one thing Coach Osborne, uh, and he was a PhD in psychology and educational psychology on how people learn. And uh, football really comes down to, you know, it's 11 on 11 work. And I know Coach Parcells believes in that as well. And so for us to be doing double reps right now uh, really expands uh, the amount of learning that we do. Um, where that really is going to come into play too is developing depth within our football team. And, you know, sometimes during the course of uh, you know, the Mountain West play, you're going to have a third team guy that's playing in a critical time of the game. Time and time again in my career that's happened. And, there's no replication better than going out and having an opportunity to practice. Greg, what do you see? I know you know one of your running backs uh, mm -hmm. like got, got dinged, but you know with Sean's experience, DJ's yeah. got experience. What are your thoughts on your running backs? And ideally, do you like to have one guy that gets the, the majority mm -hmm. of the carries and then alter it or spread them out evenly? Great question. Uh, you know, every running back wants to have all the all the reps, but uh, we would like to have two guys uh, that can be almost close to balanced so we can interchange them during the course of a game. Um, I can tell you coming in, uh, you know, Omar got uh, his hamstring tweaked today at the beginning, uh, uh, but uh, DJ and Sean were out there and some of the other fellows, we're better at running back than what I what I had anticipated. I think we'll have a shot to be uh, pretty competitive at that spot. And, and you know, in our system, we highlight that, that uh, player and it's good to have at least uh, some guys in there that have some experience. And then what I'm seeing is ability. You know, we haven't had pads yet, but there's enough that I've seen that I'm encouraged by that running back mm -hmm. spot. I mean, you mentioned that. I mean, how much of a pleasant surprise was that? It seemed like there was a couple guys in that position where they seemed to fit your system mm -hmm. very, very well already, just in build and the way that they like to run. Well, you know, that was was interesting. As you, you go through, you're, you inherit a football team. These guys chose a system. and. So we're installing a new system, but uh, overall, you know, when you look at their size and their movements, uh, they look like pro tailbacks. Now, I, I, I don't want to say pro tailbacks in the standpoint they're ready for the NFL, but a pro style running back. And so uh, that's something that that uh, it, it exceeded my expectations. Now we'll see how spring goes, but I think we've got some good players there. I know it's it's early, Craig, but you know in the secondary, it seems like maybe the area where you may have the most depth and experience depth. Of, is that what you've seen so far, even in meetings oh, and talking know, to the guys? Or? A little bit today. You mm -hmm. know, I, I saw some breaks on the balls that I was encouraged about. Uh, you know, we're throwing the ball we threw the ball a little bit better today, but uh, you saw uh, you know the secondary guys uh, converge at the proper places and go in, in midpoint uh, the football and things like that. Now. You know, uh, we're still pretty elementary offensively, and so as we expand our offense, it's going to challenge those secondary guys. But, uh, you know, you're right. We have quite a bit of experience back there, and we'll need to leverage that. How's a guy like Tyron Finley coming along? I mean, he played in one game last year and showed some 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 good things, but then got hurt. I yeah. mean, is it, is it too well, early? I, I can tell you what I did see. I, I roamed around the field. You guys kind of see how, how we operate, but I, I saw him come up and have a great burst and really uh, it was a great effort to the football once. and. 
Uh, I'm sure more than just the one time that he caught my eye there. I'm sure there's going to be other times that I'll see it on tape. But I was encouraged. He showed he's got some really good acceleration. Getting into pads tomorrow, I mean, just how much more can you learn mm -hmm. once guys are finally in full pads than what you can kind of see right now? Well, you, you certainly learn more at the line of scrimmage. And what we're trying to do, though, is teach our guys how to practice and to stay on their feet. There's a little bit more of a pro mentality as far as, you know, it's not a just smash mouth uh, practices. Now, our nature of our football team is going to be, we'll, we'll be a cowboy tough football team, but the next progression going from, you know, just helmets into pads, you're not going to see a huge difference. You'll probably see it at the point of attack when you're taking on doubles or kicking out a fullback block and things like that.